Hi there. Welcome back to Computer-Based Proctoring for Actful Assessments, Part 3. In this video, we will show you how to take the test online with a computer-based proctor. If you haven't watched them yet, be sure to watch Part 1 and Part 2 videos to help you set up your testing environment and computer-based proctoring profile before taking your ACTFL test. Once you've completed the steps and set up your profile, you're ready to start your test. Here is what you need to do. Log in to the LTI portal with your LTI test taker ID provided by your teacher or school to start the test. The computer-based proctoring will only work on Google Chrome version 80 or higher, which is a free browser. Please make sure it is installed before trying to log in. Note that you can also log out and come back to this page to take the test later. Your profile is saved in the computer proctoring system. After logging into the remote proctoring system, click on Connect to Remote Proctor and begin test. Then click on Go to Test on the bottom right of the page. Now, you will be directed to download the Proctor Track plugin, which is required for the computer proctor. Click the Download Plugin button and a new tab will open in Chrome. Then, click the Add to Chrome button to add the plugin you need for computer proctoring. This is all part of the computer based proctoring system and is very secure. When prompted, click Add Extension. Wait a moment while the extension is added to Chrome. During the process, a new page will load briefly. Just wait until the Let's Get Started screen appears. Now you are ready to start your test. Read the information on the Let's Get Started page carefully. These guidelines are the requirements for your computing and testing environment. They were shared with you in the first video. If you don't follow these guidelines, your recorded test videos may be flagged for review as they may contain potential test taker violations. Once you have carefully read through the guidelines and made sure your testing environment is correctly prepared, scroll to the bottom of the page and select the box to indicate that you've read and understood the test taking guidelines. Then click Go to Next Step. On the next screen, check the box to reconfirm your consent to the computer-based proctoring privacy policies and click Submit. Now. You will need to take another photo of yourself. Repeat the same process of taking a photo of yourself, making sure you are facing the camera and your face is not hidden. When you click Confirm and Upload, your proctoring session will load on the next screen. At this point, your webcam will become active. You will be able to see yourself in a video window in the lower right corner of your screen. You will then be asked to share your screen with the computer proctor. It is very important that you choose to share your entire screen, then click Share. Once you share your screen, there may be a short delay while the test loads in a new tab. If your test does not load within a few seconds, click where indicated on the screen. This will load your test in a new tab and you will be ready to begin. You should see the ACTFL test your school or teacher has registered you to take. For the Apple, you may work through all components in one session or divide them up to take over multiple sessions. For a Lira, you must work through it in one session and because it adapts to your answers, you may have up to 50 minutes to complete it. While you take the test, try to ignore the computer proctoring system. It will be recording you and the room you're in by using your webcam. It will also record everything on your screen. You'll know the computer proctor is working because there will be a note at the bottom of your screen indicating that your screen is being shared. Also, the previous browser tab will show a red recording icon. Once you have completed your testing session, 
Click the Sign Out button on your test to exit the test. To exit the Remote Proctor system, click the Previous Browser tab at the top of the Chrome window. You'll see your webcam image at the bottom right. Above it, click End Proctoring to stop recording and end your computer-based proctoring session. A confirmation page will appear to let you know that you have successfully exited the proctoring session. If you are taking a test that can be taken in more than one session, you will need to reconnect to the computer proctor site for the next testing session. Your profile is already in the system. Log in to the LTI portal and again, follow the steps shown in this video to start a new computer-based proctoring session. Once you've completed the test that your teacher or school requested for you, you're finished. Well done! Your teacher should have your score in about a week or two, depending on whether your video has been flagged for review. If you have any test-related questions, please contact your school for advice and guidance. Contact LTI's customer support team for technical issues. You can reach LTI's customer support team by email, and you should expect a response by the next business day. And you can also contact LTI's live support during the weekday and special weekend hours. Refer to your documents for the number and specific hours. Good luck on your test!